kids! I'm Teacher Jen. Welcome to another day of fun learning. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to distinguish text types according to features. Let's review. Words make up a phrase. Phrases make up a sentence. Sentences make up a paragraph. And what is a paragraph? Paragraph is a group of sentences organized with a central topic or main idea. Text or essay is composed of paragraphs. Now, let's proceed to our lesson. What is a text type? It is a way of classifying and defining different language interaction, spoken and written. It refers to the purpose of the text and the way it is written. What is a text structure? The text structure is how the information in a text is organized for the reader. Informational text type is the classification and definition of the way a text is written such as its structure, purpose, and language features. Knowledge of text type helps readers organize their thoughts when receiving, retelling, or reporting on a particular reading. Reading text type requires a deep understanding and critical comprehension. That's why it is important to classify or identify the structure and language feature of the different text types. This will help a lot in understanding the text being read. What are the different text types? Here are the different text types according to feature. We have problem solution, cause and effect, comparison and contrast, enumeration, and time order. Let us first discuss about problem solution. What is a problem solution text. The text states a problem and then suggests one or more solutions. So here is the example of problem solution text. Erwin and Zyke both wanted to drive the car. They started yelling at each other. Their mom came and told to stop fighting. She told Erwin he could drive the car today. Zyke would take his turn tomorrow. So, in this paragraph, it stated that there's a problem and there's also a solution. So, what's the problem in the paragraph? The problem is that Erwin and Zyke both wanted to drive the car. So, they started yelling. So, what will be the solution here? So, the best solution is that Erwin, he could drive the car today. And Zyke would take his turn tomorrow. So that's the solution. I have here another example. Jose Rizal owned a horse when he was studying in Madrid. When his allowance did not come one day, he did not have enough money for food. So he decided to sell his horse to have money to buy food. So in this paragraph, the problem here is that Jose Rizal do not have enough money. So, the solution here is to sell his horse to have money to buy food. So, this is an example of a problem solution text. Here are some keywords that may indicate that information in a text is a problem solution. Keywords we have because since this led to therefore so another text type is cause and effect 
What is cause and effect text type? The text explains events, which is the causes, and the results of these events are the effects. Is a text structure or pattern of organization where a reader can figure out for the passage why something happened or the cause and what happened or the effect. I have here example of cause and effect text type. When people pollute rivers, they destroy the habitats of the fish. This reduces the number of fish that can reproduce. As a result, fewer fish are born in fresh water and the fish population declines. So in this paragraph, you can identify the cause. The cause here is that the people pollute the rivers. What will be the effect? So you can see the effect here. There is a keyword as a result. So as a result, the effect, fewer fish are born in fresh water and the fish population declines. So this paragraph show cause and effect text type. I have here another example. Many people think that they can get sick by going into cold weather improperly dressed. However, illnesses are not caused by temperature. They are caused by germs. So while shivering outside in the cold probably won't strengthen your immune system. You are more likely to contract an illness indoors because you will have a greater exposure to germs. In this example, the paragraph explains how germs cause illnesses. The germs are the cause in the paragraph, and the illness is the effect. Here are some keywords that may indicate that information in a text is organized as cause and effect. Here are the keywords, because, consequently, this is why, so, thus, as a result. Here is another text type, comparison and contrast. What is comparison and contrast text type? The text discusses similarities and differences between two or more things. It is a text structure or pattern of organization where the similarities and differences of two or more things are explored. It is important to remember that with the compare and contrast text structure, the text should be discussing similarities and differences. If the text only discusses similarities, it is only comparing. Likewise, if it only discusses ways that the things are different, it is only contrasting. The text must do both to be considered compare and contrast. I have here example of comparison and contrast. Ducks and chickens are both birds, but only ducks can fly. They both live on farms and give us eggs. Duck eggs are big while chicken eggs are small. In this paragraph, we compare the ducks and chickens. The ducks and chickens both are birds. They give us eggs. We have also differences of these two animals. Uh, ducks' eggs are big while chicken eggs are small. And ducks can, also, can fly while chicken cannot. Here are some keywords that may indicate that the text is written using the comparison and contrast organizational pattern. So we have like and like. Similarly, on the other hand, both. So those are the keywords. We have another text type. This is enumeration. The text presents list of details. It tells a process step by step. 
it mentions a series of words. This text type has a listing of important points on the text. It focuses on the listing facts, characteristics, or features. It is a rhetorical device used for listing details, or a process of mentioning words or phrases step by step. In fact, it is a type of amplification or division in which a subject is further distributed into components or parts. Writers use enumeration to elucidate a topic to make it understandable for the readers. I have here example of enumeration text type. There are several things you need to bring along with you each time you come to class. First, you should have a paper. Furthermore, you need a pen to take notes with. Moreover, you need to have your textbooks. Also, be sure to bring your completed homework. In addition, it is a good to have a dictionary. Finally, you ought to have a book bag to carry everything in. So as you see, in the example, there is a present list of details. It tells a process step by step and it mentions a series of words. Another example is about the moon. The moon is our closest neighbor. Its gravity is only one-sixth of Earth. In addition, there is no atmosphere on the moon. The lack of atmosphere also means there is no water on the moon. An important problem when traveling there. So in the example, the main idea is the moon. And it just lists the characteristics or features about the main idea or the moon. So this is enumeration. Here are some keywords that may indicate that the text or paragraph is enumeration. So we have the word first, furthermore, moreover, next, finally, also, in addition. So those are the keywords. And lastly, we have time order text. What is time order text type? The text describes a sequence of events or a list of steps. Ideas on the text are organized according to time when they happen. The events are arranged in sequence order. It is commonly used when telling a story, sharing directions, instructions, or procedure. So here is the example. First, was the fruits. Next, Peel the fruits, then slice fruits into small cubes or pieces. After that, mix the fruits together with milk and cream. Lastly, share the salad to everyone. So in the example, you can see the procedures. The procedures about uh, preparing a salad. So this is time order. Another example. First, go to window and get your registration form. Next, fill out the registration form. Then pay the registration fee at the cashier. After paying, wait for your name to be called. Last, present your receipt to claim your ID. So you can see the sequence of events in that paragraph. And it gives you direction or instruction or procedure in how to get your or claim your ID. Here are some keywords that may indicate that the text or paragraph is time order. We have the word first, next, then, after that, lastly. So those are the keywords. Activity time. Directions. Distinguish the text types below. Choose your answer inside the box. So here are the choices. Problem solution, cause and effect, comparison and contrast, enumeration, time order. Number one, 
Apples and oranges are both fruits. They have seeds inside them. But oranges have more seeds than those of apples. Its fruit has skin. But orange skins are thick and easy to peel, while those of apples are thinner and do not peel easily. Oranges contain more acids compared to apples. But both fruits are delicious. So what is the answer for this paragraph? Very good. The answer is comparison and contrast. Number two. It's important to know what to do if your clothes ever cuts on fire. First, you need to stop what you are doing. Next, you need to drop to the ground. Then, you need to roll until the flames have been smothered. Finally, you should seek medical attention. So, what kind of text type is this? Very good. The answer is enumeration. Okay, number three. Having a cold is no fun. Coughing makes it hard to fall asleep. A sore throat is painful. Try some tea with honey in it. Honey will suit your throat. So what kind of text type is this? Good. The answer is problem solution. Number four. My science project was fun. I began by choosing to experiment with magnets. Then I checked to see which materials were attracted to magnets. After a while, I noticed that only things with iron are attracted to magnets. The final step was to write a report that showed my findings. So what kind of text type is this? The answer is time order. Last number, number five. Reading is important because it develops your mind and gives you excessive knowledge and lessons of life. It helps you understand the world around you better. It keeps your mind active and enhances your creative ability. So, what is the answer for this text type? Yes, the answer is cause and effect. That's all for now, kids. I hope you learned something new today. Class dismissed. Thank you.